bright. Oh, the live music is going on. All right, so I'm at the Union Square Green Market, and surprisingly, this is one of the my favorite places to get plants, believe it or not. Uh, this is one of the plant shops. Oh, and they recently got rid of plastic bags, so you got a BYOB. Uh, but yeah, they usually have really affordable plants. Their prices have increased a little bit, but not as much. Not the way that other plant shops have increased their prices. But you can see. So they're based in Long Island, and they bring their plants. And every day that they're at the farmer's market, at the green market, they bring us something a little different. So you see some chiffleras and some string of pearls. You know, that you can't kind of go wrong for an $8 string of pearls. It's really good. Hola, como estas? <laughs> Look at a mezu red trailing plant, 20 bucks. Very good. A pretty big turkey fig tree for 30. It's fairly good. And you can see the herbs here. So you get some chocolate mint, which is very nice. Lemon balm that spreads like crazy. Excellent tea, excellent medicinal. Some thyme, I use it all the time in cooking. Thyme, I use it all the time. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. No? <laughs> so you see some of these. This one got mislabeled, or this got put, oh, this needs to be put here. Uh, asparagus ferns, four bucks, four bucks, not so bad, right? Aluminum plants, Pilia cateri, Creeping Charlie, another type of Pilia. Very good, and Tradescantia namicularis, like these are all four bucks, so I feel like you can't go wrong. Silamontana. These are the ones with the little fuzzies. Very cool. And then succulents over on here. I mean, look, string of pearls for six bucks. This is such a good price. In plant shops, especially here in New York, the prices have just gone up, even for kind of more common plants. Pachypodium lamerii. Very nice size plant. These are probably gonna be more like 12 bucks, I would gather. <laughs> they spelled this a little wrong. Creeptanthus, it's Cryptanthus. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's nice though that they are trying to, to name them because I bet people, more people have probably been asking about what the plants are. Generally, you could walk around and go into the uh, areas, but they have it still blocked off because of COVID. Hi! How are you? What was your name? My name is Louie. What, what's your name? Louie. Louie? Okay. Yeah. You've never come to one of the plant swaps, no, have you? No, okay. I haven't. So, yeah. What are you getting? I'm getting a good tea. Oh my god, yeah. A Monstera Adansonii. Look yeah. at that. You're, you're, I was just saying that we came here because it's always such good prices. Yeah, I love this place. I, I know. I come here before the pandemic probably every week. Yeah. But haven't for the past year, but I made the trip from Queens just to come Oh here. my God, yeah. good on you. And Saturday was quite busy last time I was here. Saturday, I like ago. to come to the weekdays because so. it's a lot less like people around. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you in Nice person. to see you in person oh as well. Yes. All right, see these, I actually got one of these the other day. These are amazing. They, I think they look like pineapple tops. A really cool growth structure. And then this one. Uh, oh, look, at, it's flowering. I might have to actually get that one. Look at that. Flowering. Amazing. This is why I brought my bag. <laughs> But we have to get one for we have to get one for Paul too. <laughs> All right, got some flowering primroses. Very springy, very springy for the primroses. Let's see what else they have on the side. 
nasturtiums, edible leaves, edible flowers. Not something I typically grow inside. And an alocasia. They have like a, a, an aroid and some dracaenas. Well, I'm going to get this guy. And then I'm going to check out the other plant shop down there. Yeah. Is it possible? Yes. Sure, 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 sure. We're going to smile with our eyes. Yes. Thank cool. You. Thank you. So you have much. some backups in there. Oh, you're getting those. Yeah. Well, it's about. It that's looks like it's about to flower. So. Wow. That's rare. Yeah. So I think I'm going to get that one. It had a little bit of greenhouse recharge, so. Maybe we'll see it in the future. I know, right? exactly. Or at least a photo on Instagram, you know. Yes. <laughs> Let's go see the other plant shop over here. Isn't it beautiful to see the magnolias blooming? So that's one thing I'd love to get for a flock. Also a magnolia stellata, which is like a white starry-like flower but it just makes me happy to see all the trees flowering now. They're flowering earlier and earlier as the temperature heats up. Oh, I'm not gonna get any herbs, but this is a great place to get herbs. Look at these sage plants. It's kind of unreal, right? And then the rosemary, this, this whole area always smells so good. You got some chamomile and feverfew. I, oh my God, it's, I'd want to just take all the herbs. They're so good. Chives in the back, some aloe vera. They have every flavor of mint imaginable. They have like apple mint, spearmint, chocolate mint, mojito mint. I mean, if you wanted to get the full range of mint smells, like you just have to come in here. So it's nice to see that they have some tomatoes. They have the sun gold tomatoes, sugar lump. Wow, they get they have green zebras. It's one of my favorite is the green zebras. Nasturtiums, they also have some variegated nasturtiums. All the different types of basils. I mean, look at this, that's holy basil, the one that smells like kind of that bubble gum Tulsi basil that Sean had growing. Some sweet basil, purple basil, Thai Siam queen. Anise licorice basil, like you wouldn't even ever think that there's so many basils. Cinnamon basil, a basil bush. I love growing this indoors because you could just get the little tiny basil leaves. Cardinal basil, or I have never heard of a rot basil. Yeah, so if you just take a quick scan of these, uh, they grow, I feel like they grow every herb imaginable. This is also where I get my Vicks plants. You see this? I mentioned Vicks plants. Very easy to propagate their type of Plectranthus. And they smell like Vicks Vapor Rub. For those of you who are familiar with Vicks Vapor Rub, you usually spread it on your feet or your chest when you have a, a bit of a cough or respiratory distress. We'll go over here. Keep this in the sun because the fennel will start to get really nice and bronze. I'm like dying to have like an herb. <laughs> like a, just like a place to plant some herbs on the property. Dill, fern leaf variety is very beautiful. Shiso, I love shiso, perilla, with the little red undersides, very beautiful. And all types of sage. It might be a little bit too early in the season, but usually you see some uh, honeybees kind of all on the sage plants. All right, let's go check out the other plant, plant place. I got distracted by another plant place, <laughs> herbs. So this place also has more bedding plants, but they also have house plants as well. So you can see it's spring has sprung because they have all the bulbs with the daffodils and the tulips. This is like Dutch style, Sonder. <laughs> I do like the plants that they have growing here, this little succulents, because they have them growing in little terracotta planter pots. The other one place has them in plastic. So it's, it's nice, it just, you know, the terracotta seems a little bit more like premium, if you will. Beautiful aloes. That might be a possible plant for Paul. This one as well, look at that, beautiful coloration. It's so hard to know what cultivars these aloes are. Ooh, this gasteria looks good too. That's about to bloom. 
so many possibilities. They have some really fine looking plants here. Lead boreas, type of lily from South Africa. And oh, this is beautiful. This is another type of aloe. Not quite sure which one. But look at the price on it. It's $12. It's so affordable. I mean, and this is New York City. I mean, I know some people are like, I could get the aloe for $5 where I am. But we're in New York, so everything's a little bit more premium. This is gorgeous. I'm actually not quite sure what aloe this is. That's the problem with shopping here is that almost nothing is labeled at all. And you're kind of always left guessing what it could possibly be. I have to get that. <laughs> Look at the Crassula falcata. It's uh, often called the airplane plant. And some of these Haworthias. Uh, cotyledons. I think this is also a cot in the cotyledon genus. And look at those Crassula falcatas. Like those are huge. 20 bucks for those. Look at all those offsets. It's insane. Okay, we're gonna come back here, but let's go around. Let's do the whole plant shop justice. All right, one of my favorite bulb plants, even though they're a bit more showy. My middle name, Hyacinth. I wish I could just smell these right now. Wearing the mask like prevents me from <laughs> smelling how good these are. Hey. Sorry, I skipped over all the bedding plants for right now because you know, I'm kind of, you know, it's, it's about house plants. You have some Mings. Some, these are Aralias right over here. This is an Ardizia, very full one, which is kind of cool to see. Some Begonias, very beautiful. And here's a bunch of snake plants again. So you can see they have a lot uh, more versions of snake plants. And all very beautiful. None flowering though, so I'm glad I picked up that one. And then let's go back here because you'll see some quote unquote lower light plants. Oh, look at this Petonia. Nice. Very full. Also right here, you can see it. Those are super full. It almost looks like a Chia pet. All right, let's head behind here. Codonanthes, very cute plants. And then some Procris repens, some uh, Peperomia here, and then some Begonias. Those, those make actually great bonsai plants. And then these are Pilias. You can see actually some are flowering. Very cool. And then these Peperomia are also flowering. Get that little rat tail spike. I noticed my Peperomia prostrata is actually flowering right now. Um, that's the prostrate peperomia that kind of hangs over. You can see these peperomia are also flowering. Sometimes they have a slight lemon scent. So when they start to flower, you should uh, give it a sniff. Look at this. I mean, a ficus deltoidea for $8. That is absolutely nothing. I think this would actually be a really nice um, gift for my next houseplant home tour. A little ficus deltoidea. We'll do that. See that, the little gold dots on the top? I learned from Chad Husby from Fairchild um, Botanic Gardens that it used to be called, uh, I believe, Ficus diversifolia, which he says would have been a, a much better uh, gene, uh, sp species name because essentially the leaves vary quite widely so if you want to see how widely those leaves actually vary, you got to check out that episode that we did with Chad. This is so cute. It looks like a Peperomia asperula. And then here's some more Plectranthus, Cuban oregano, or sometimes they cu call it Cuban thyme. Smells super potent. A lot of that Plectranthus has that um, scent. 
And then you got some great ferns right here. Very cool if you have like terrariums. And then we're getting kind of into the, uh, the bedding plants again. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, look at these cute little lavenders as well. Those are adorable. All right, so I'm gonna probably get a couple more plants and we'll wrap it up here. But I have to say, if you're in the city, typically on Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes on Wednesdays as well, uh, check out the Union Square Green Market because they do have very good plants at incredible prices compared to other places in the city. So that's it. That's what they have in store here. See you later. Look how this Worthia is about to flower. It's incredible. It's got four flower spikes on it, so it must have four heads. One, two, three, four. Incredible. I love seeing the Gasteria about to flower as well. So aloes typically, the old blooms are on the bottom and then they start to bloom from the bottom up. So this is basically just going to be finished blooming. This one unfortunately got ripped and broken. That's really sad because that, that was about to bloom. Very cool. I might actually, what do you think? What do you think? I should probably get this one. Or I also like how these look like tentacles. It's kind of cool too. I mean, I really don't need another plant. I think I'll probably just get this one for Paul. Yeah, let's just get this. This is, this is what I call restraint. It's not even for me. I got one for me. All right, on to the next place. 